Hello. So we are going to be setting up our 150S Orion Pulse Arc Welder to utilize the hand attachments dual probe handpiece to make re tack or resistance welds. I have an older pair here, so I have the uh, two different s style nuts, but these come in different form factors. The dual probe handpiece will look like pencils. I like these finer points. This is a low power, so it gives me a finer uh, resistant tack. The example I'm going to be using is 5 thousandths stainless steel. So as we're waiting for this to boot up, we're going to get this, these hand pieces plugged in. So we're going to rotate our machine facing the back, and we're going to utilize this tack area. So since we're going to be using both of these hand pieces, it won't really matter uh, which terminal we tie into. But for color coordination's sake, I'm going to have my positive on the on the red section. Oops, that's five third and straight. And so they just twist on, loosen the nut. Helps if uh, they have it tightened too bad. Let me get some tools and get that off and then put that last one on. All right, so we have these two plugged in. So what we can do is rotate this machine back to where we were so we can view the interface. I'll rotate this just a little better so that we can see what's going on on the screen. So the default screen when you first set up this machine is the basic screen. We have two ways to get to our tack screen, which is going to allow us to take advantage of these. So we can either swipe right to left on the graph, and as you can see, it went from basic to arc. We can do that one more time, and it'll give us our tack screen. The other way that we can do it is we can click this down arrow, and it'll give us all three options. So we're gonna stay on this tack screen, on the bottom left, we're going to have this play button. That's going to change this graph into a color scale, which is going to give a visual indicator that we're ready to weld. All right, so we're going to do some welds. After doing some testing, we got our electrodes all cleaned up. And so like having these relatively close to each other, without touching. Let me get this centered up a little bit better. There we go. So I have my energy at 15 watt seconds. And so if I hit the foot pedal, then we have two clean welds, okay? As you can see, applying about five pounds of hand pressure on both seemed to yield some pretty clean welds. We'll just do a pull test really fast. So that's leaving nuggets behind, which is a good indicator of probably not right there. So. Something to note is it looks like we could either turn up our, our power to get good nuggets on both, but the positive terminal seems to be the hotter of the two welds. So let's just do one last weld. Okay. That is correct. So the positive terminal is hotter. Now there's the foot pedal way, which is what I just showed you, or we can do touch detect, okay? So that means as soon as these electrodes find continuity in whatever we're welding, it's going to automatically weld for us. So I can have this ready.
and I have the delay set as medium. So if we're doing a lot of these, right, we can use our, our negative as a ground. And may, maybe this will be a more attractive way of, of going about our project. If it's a small repair like this, then we can keep our electrode all the way over here and then make our welds appropriately. If we want to do a big project, we're going to have to move our grounding electrode to be closer to our welding electrode in this particular context.